Hello. Salam asia. This is only one more I know. So my name is Max Lin. I I am from SUSE and I have been in the Open SUSE Boosters team and then the Open SUSE team that now I am still responsibility for the Open SUSE release. So I know the lot about the how the Open SUSE release the tempo you need. So I share those knowledge to you and this talk is about the Open SUSE tempo, how we develop it and the process. So the tambourine is the, is the pure uh, rolling release version of open source and now the, because the open source now have uh, two different versions. Uh, one is uh, this rolling release we call the tambourine, another one is the regular release we call the leap. And the uh, tambourine basically the contains the uh, test stable applications and the tambourine is uh, based on the FETI. The FETI is a uh, Okay, I, I think I have to do this then because <coughs> in open source we have a build system called the open build system. Uh, I think all uh, packaging work is uh, everybody is work uh, is on the open build uh, open build service. Uh, it's uh, you you know either you are packaging your application via RPM binary and uh, submitting it to the uh, open source factory. So it uh, including the all new uh, applications, but uh, uh, it uh, it uh, Tambo is based on the factory. But we introduce the new development process to make sure that all new application will not causes uh, another package fails to build or causes another package does not work. And the, the Tambo the core system packages is still the automated. Testing via the OpenQA. Uh, OpenQA is the automatic system, uh, uh, automatic testing system. Sorry, uh, developed by Open Source Community. Uh, I will not introduce too much about the OpenQA in this talk, but you can uh, Google it. It's a, a very nice automatic testing system. So this is the basic uh, development workflow. Um, the picture's quality is not good, but better you, uh, you see that one is fancy, and uh, the package, they, uh, they update their package in their development project on open build service, and then they submit this update to factory. There is the basic uh, work workflow. So when the package submit a request, it will be in the submissions. So you have a two parts uh, uh, automatic review. It's, a, it's a automatic because there's a, a little start tools checking your submission is valid or not. And uh, also have some main review, some very experienced uh, package that will review your request, make sure everything is fine. And we have a pre-integration testing, which is the generator uh, ISO file and the testing on the open QA and the report the result back to the, this process. So if uh, everything is okay, then the all stuff will merge into the open source factory. Then uh, those changes will be reviewed again in the open source factory and doing the more uh, QA testing. Uh, then <coughs> when everything is done, then we, we release a new Tumble with Nature. But if we got some problem, then it was not happen. We have uh, waiting for the loss uh, bug being fixed, then release another essential. So I draw a more detailed picture. It's about the uh, you see, uh, when you submit a request for the developer project, and the your submission have been reviewed by the uh, some automatic tool and the, the manual review. Uh, the automatic tool including the factory auto, the legal auto, and the uh, report checker. I will introduce that later. And the manual review is uh, reviewed by the review team, and the security and the legal review. Uh, we have a ten. We have a. Uh, 
temporary project called the staging project because a lot of those uh, churches have a two rebuilding in the staging project, making sure your packaging is a build success. And uh, it's, uh, those auto automatic tools will check in uh, your, your, your uh, packaging is installable and uh, and so on before it merges into the factory. So uh, basically we did a lot of work during your submissions in the stage project. So it's a factory auto. Uh, this tool better check uh, the, you know, in talking about the, the packaging you uh, you have a, a, for example, for RPM packaging, you need a, you need a spec file and a change log. So the, this tool will check your uh, spec, spec file is valid, and uh, you also mentioned that maybe you have a bug fix uh, for this change. So you have to mention it in your change log. Uh, this tool will check in some kind of those things. And the legal auto is, a, is a for uh, legal team to check your license, but basically it will only happen when your it, uh, if your package is a new package or your package change your license. Uh, yeah, the review team is a human to check the request. So, uh, we have a review team uh, considered by several people. They are very experienced uh, packaging. Uh, yep, battery staging, as I, I tell you that, it, it's like a gate uh, that makes sure that, that those, the cost of the package will not work in the system, so we open the gate. So, uh, currently, I am the staging project manager, so, so I spend uh, all of my time working on that. And the report checker doing the more detailed automatic check. <coughs> so, you know, you want to be a distribution. Uh, sometimes you cannot just uh, match anything. Uh, I mean, you cannot just uh, put everything together because uh, you have to make sure they are all, all uh, they are all working with another package. Uh, what package you rely on, on it? So the report check check some very deeper things. Uh, it will check the build result and uh, including the sub packages. And, and check the binary files is installable or dependencies is fine. And check that the, uh, there's no file config be between the two packages. Uh, usually, it happens that uh, you have uh, two packages provide the same file or uh, the package will remain. It's uh, where it happen. Yep, and then change the your. So it was changed in the developer project by nine year request and uh, the new build cycle. The build cycle means uh, you have a package A. Uh, when you want to build in a package A, it requires a package B. But you, if you want to build package, package B, it was required a package A. So you have to somehow to fix this problem. Otherwise, the package A and B both will not start to build. And uh, it's about the, uh, uh, yeah, it will also check uh, the either request. Uh, the request means you want to drop a package from the tumbleweed. But uh, it's a uh, better, you know, you adding a package into a distribution is easy, but you want to drop a package out of a distribution is uh, uh, not that easy because uh, you have to make sure all. Uh, the package is hard, rely on the, the package you want, you want to drop. Uh, after you drop this package, those packages still can survive. So somehow you have a tool, another alternative package, or you have a fix the those package issue. Yeah. So the OpenQA is an automatic testing system. Uh, I uh, I think uh, the Benjo yesterday already did a workshop to introduce that, but I think uh, uh, not everyone was there. So uh, the, uh, the basically the open QA uh, I can uh, think of a scenario. You can 
you generate an ISO file, uh, install Azure Media, you feed it to OpenQA, and it start to testing uh, from the uh, putting from your media uh, installation and uh, put it to the desktop like this. This is a scenario you testing. Make this testing like a scenario to make sure your installation does work. And you you also can test in the any kind of uh, applications uh, in the media or in the online repository. So we're using the open QA to guarantee uh, uh, the quality of uh, the quality. Uh, sorry, uh, your submissions was in the staging project, so open QA will guarantee this staging project will not broken your system when you doing a new installation or you are upgrading from an old signature update to, uh, to the current signature. So it's, uh, uh, it's uh, trying to guarantee your system will not broken after this merge, it, th those changes merge into the fate. Yes. So in the stage project, we have a set uh, a layout is like we call the, the rings and the, the stages. Um, it, those, those are the core system packages, basically. Those are the all packages will be in the media. You know that the, in the installation media, because the, the size, you cannot put everything. For example, in the open source affair, you have 8,000 or 9,000 packages. It's impossible to put all in the, your installation media but you put the, the, the all uh, consistent packages for the ins install your system and the some important packages. So the rings basically put the, the, all the core system packages. Uh, the ring zero is including the bootstrapper packages. And the ring one is everything for the uh, mini minimize the environment, basically the ISWN. And the ring two uh, is a pretty much the complete DVD, either or including the uh, GNOME desktop and the KD desktop. And the staging, uh, staging actually is the inherent uh, those package list lists, and the lab, and the, the staging they were generated the ISO file, each stages, and the import to the OpenQA doing the testing. Uh, the stage API is special. It's, uh, I already mentioned that uh, we didn't put uh, all packages in the rings. We only put uh, the core package, core system packages. But uh, how can we make sure the packages not in the rings uh, still uh, still uh, the status is still fine and acceptable acceptable to merge into the factory? So we say our uh, API staging uh, is a uh, it will not generate the ISO file, but it only to check uh, the binary file uh, is installable and the build was successful. So in the staging area, the OpenQA testing, uh, including those things, I think is the uh, common testing. Uh, uh, I say the common testing because I, I think it yeah, applied to uh, more uh, most of the scenario in your in your system, uh, the normal installation, uh, really in installation, the uh, environment uh, 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 and enable the uh, install of the UEV environment. Uh, and we also do some console test because uh, the open source uh, have uh, yes, the tools. Uh, there's a very uh, yes, the provider. Uh, many different modules those uh, can do in the system management or helping you to uh, manage your system. For example, the yes to broader, you can use the, this module to manage your uh, broader configuration and the yes uh, network can come to your network settings. So we also talk testing those uh, console tools and uh, including the, uh, the test uh, also including the the non KD and the minimal is uh, the desktop uh, testing. Yep. Oh, sorry. 
So on open QA, uh, you can see the test result like this. With a, a, uh, every step, if it is showing the green, that means this step uh, is passed. So for example, if one step is testing, um, for example, the GNOME uh, software well, I, I think it's a nice example. So if a GNOME software well uh, is failed, it will be the red, and the, the OpenQA will record in the whole log. So, and uh, if we in, uh, uh, for example, if this testing is about uh, in the, in uh, stage A, and the uh, stage A have a uh, GNOME software updates in there, so we can suspect that this update uh, will break the GNOME software for some reasons. So this uh, uh, is a uh, yeah, the open queue. Yes. Uh, we also set up the staging dashboard uh, that the developers and the contribu uh, contributors understand the uh, uh, hot submission uh, submissions in the which stages and the status of these staging. It will uh, it will show if your package build fail. It will mention on there and uh, if it, uh, the open query test was fail, it will also mention there. So the stage manager or the release manager uh, can easy to understand what, where is the uh, problem from. So when the staging, uh, everything is fine there, uh, no few failures, all review was, uh, all, all review were accepted, and uh, the open QA test has been all passed. It will be, uh, looks like this, all are green. So it will be a uh, acceptable staging. So then the release manager will merge these stages. A uh, release manager will merge this stage into the factory. That means all submissions in this staging was uh, sent into the factory. Uh, after checking, uh, yeah, there's still some work I have to do. Uh, I have to wait in the uh, loss changes to be built in again. And update the package list is about uh, how package will be in the official DVD. Uh, it uh, depends if you if there's uh, some dependence change, then the package list will have to update. Uh, then uh, generate a new temporary snapshot DVD, do more testing in the open QA, a lot of testing, and uh, also waiting for the online repository is ready. Uh, if everything is uh, Great, and it's, everything is done. Then it will. Uh, we have a tool called to test manager. It will automatically publish this new snapshot to outside to the download side, and uh, also sync the online repository to the download window. So that's uh, how we generate uh, a new temporary snapshot and make sure uh, the new updates will not block in your system or. At, uh, at least it, it, it went up broken uh, uh, it went up broken on in coin the installation stage yes and uh, I got this uh, this picture is about numbers because the first uh, tempo we uh, was uh, announcing um, if I recall correctly is uh, 2014. The first, uh, the tumbleweed is Nisha. So you can see, yep, uh, we have uh, many tumbleweed users since it's still go up, but uh, I don't get the numbers uh, since uh, 2016, so I'm not so sure uh, how's the number currently. But, uh, but uh, you know, the tumbleweed better including the latest, uh, latest uh, applications, and uh, it makes sure it's a, a workable uh, distribution. So uh, I think it's a good choice for developers who want to using the newer application for develop, developing work, or whatever. Or you are the users, you want to try the new application. It's also an option. Uh, anyway, uh, if you uh, want to involve in the 
better development or you have any good idea or you have questions, uh, you can send an email to the open source operating mailing list or you have a other packaging issue, you can send an email to packaging mailing list and uh, you can easily find the uh, you can easily find us in the IRC. We all are staying in the open source of the IRC channel. And yeah, we have a, a, a three person basically uh, for the technical issue for open source release, the Dominic, Ruby, and me. So if you have a question, you can easily pin us. So this is my talk about the open source time. I hope you understand it. Because um, I only have 30 minutes, so if you have any question, I can try my best to answer you. So, any question? Okay, silakan yang mau bertanya. Jadi, di, kalau tidak salah di Open Source itu ada distribusi yang dibuat itu ada dua versi. Yang pertama itu versi factorynya yang default biasa kita kenal. Yang kedua itu tumbleweed ini. Jadi ada dua itu. Mungkin ada yang mau bertanya, silakan. Yang ringan-ringan saja ada terbaik ya silakan. Uh, ya. Check. Uh, my name is Andika Yuana. Uh, I wanna ask you about number with. Uh, I have two question. Uh, number one is uh, which is the front of about tumbleweed version and uh, leak version and in the tumbleweed version is have numbering version like leak version or not numbering number number of version in tumbleweed like leak number version yes thanks uh, the Tumblr basically it got consistent the all upstream new release uh, the applications. So when the, the upstream they have uh, published a new release, then packager will uh, update to the developer project and submit to the factory. Uh, so this is why I say basically the Tumblr including the all latest uh, uh, applications compared to the upstream. But the deepest different deepest the regular release. Uh, and the uh, basically share the core base with uh, Susan Mears and the parts. So it's a guarantee is uh, very stable and the uh, testing uh, did a, a very good testing by our QA team. So uh, the, I, 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 I couldn't tell uh, no, I no, I that the, the packaging uh, will be old than Tumbleweed in deep. But uh, some important fees should be included, but uh, the version will not uh, the latest, not the newer one. It is the, the different. And uh, the second, uh, second question is about the version number. Um, basically, Tumbleweed, because it's a rolling release, it does not really have the version number actually. But we, you know, we open, we publish the snapshot, uh, average four times a week. So we using the date. So you go to the Tumblr side, you can see um, either maybe the Tumblr is Asia 2016, uh, 072A or 0729, like, like, like it means it was released in uh, July 28th, July 29th, something like that. It's uh, not really available for the number, but it's using a the data we will probably should us in the Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your presentation about Tumblebit. Okay. Sesi ini ya sudah nanti akhiri yang tadi ada mas ini. Mau difoto ya mas ya? Boleh difoto. Depan aja, mas ya. Diminta lagi sebentar ya mas ya. disampaikan langsung oleh Mas. Thank you, Mas.
Terima kasih untuk Blank On yang, yang sudah menyampaikan satu price yang berharga sama-sama. Oke, okay, thank you for Maxwin and you may sit Thank you. Uh, terima kasih. Sama-sama. Terima kasih.